so now we're actually going to move on to the meat and potatoes of this video which is more cards because that's the first card so now we're going to come back and we're going to do two more cards you know we're just going to slap them all together because i realized hey i could do cards for my mom and my sister when i was flipping through them in the other video so i decided i went ahead and did that much picking that we're going to go through all of this ephemera to figure out what I'm going to add to it before. But this one, there's a chance I might make use of the other Cupid and put him here. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest because there's also, and I already pulled out, I have the Empress out, but I'm thinking he might look cute too. Because don't forget, I've got this. So I may use another piece of the gold um, to go ahead and use it. And I'm going to use this die. So um, for sure on this one, not on the one going to my sister, because I love how that is framed really. I mean, it's just perfect. So for my sisters, literally all I'm going to do is I wanted it more dimensionalized. So the, the effective way to do this, quite frankly, is to use my tape. What I think I'm going to do is just flipping double it up. So let's just go ahead. Although, wait, 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 wait. I've got that big 3M tape. Let me see if it's out. Oh, 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 oh. If it's, yeah, it's about the same. So I might as well use that and just double it up. Okay. So never mind. Where's my purpley scissors? Cause those are the perfect ones to cut. And this is a trick again that I, I learned from Ryan from Glitter Grunge Greetings. And that's what you measure it out. It's like, oh my gosh, where has this, this trick been my entire life? It's like, a oh, doll. But then all I have to do is just snip. So, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do this off camera. So, I'll be right back. You guys don't need to see it, but you saw the technique. Be right back. Okay, I am back. It should come as no surprise to you that I am a complete lunatic. I went ahead and die cut out the mat. And it turned out really nice. I did you got to be careful when you're die cutting with um, this kind of Maricard base paper because if you don't get all the little pieces of chad out of your mat, this is what happens. It marks up. It For my purposes, it's not a big deal because, oh, look, it covers up. So I did not get too entirely wholly upset, but it really did turn out nice. And then we got a bunch. I mean, these pieces cut out really, really nice. I mean, embossed and die cuts. We have the hearts. Um, I cut out a couple of cupids. I cut out a couple of these little guys. Ah! Oh no! See, I gotta be careful when I'm putting putting stuff because this is what I was saying about being a lunatic. Is I already have these strips. Oh no! I had to undo them off the back. Let's see. Can this come off? Can this come off? Can this come off? Can this come off? It came off. Okay, let's stick it right there. There we go. I'll be safe. I already had these strips stuck here when I had a change of plan. So you guys will have to decide if I'm really crazy or not. Not that there's any doubt. Anyway, let me continue to show. I'm going to watch my sleeves. I did these rose die cuts. So, and then I did that heart right here that we're going to use, but it's going to go into play with this plan. So it's either going to be really cool or I will have killed some really beautiful, um, toppers but crazy woman that i am i have decided put these on because it's all gonna be from the, my mom's card i'm gonna cut this out i'm gonna cut this piece out and i'm gonna pop it out and then i'm planning on putting ephemera outside of it to you know or underneath it to kind of camouflage the whole we're gonna see if this idea holds water or I'm going to ruin it, it, it just been, you know, it's while I was working on this, I'm like, Hmm, I wonder if, so I wonder if has moved on to, yeah, I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to take a craft knife because that's the safest way for me to do this. Just to take my craft knife. Holy mackerel. I've got to find, okay. Lay it. And I still have to go in a little bit closer. So I'm sorry, guys, because I have a, I don't know if it's my lighting and or the angle, but I have got to find where my beginning is. Actually, what I should have done. Let's take a pen, wrote pencil real quick so that I can find my pencil mark. I'm going to mark 
each end. Oh, look, a cat here. Imagine that. And a house with cats. Okay. There, now I got my pencil mark. So now I know where I'm cutting from. And then I'm going to use, so I'm using my little wee R, which is with the ruler. It's all magnetized, so this ruler does not budge. And I'm just going to do a couple of cuts, and you can use, you can tell the difference. Like I just did it. I think I'm doing one more just to be safe. But I can tell I've cut through. So let's see. Yep, I cut through. So we will now do this again on this side. I'm going to take my... It's just so I can tell where I'm cutting. Because then that way, this really, I mean, this wants to pop out, this detail here, but I also want this, this is supposed to be like laying on top. So I'm going to make it lay on top. Just because, oops, just because. So, again, I'm just going to line this up. Just, I don't need to line it up on the mat. I just need to line up my ruler right up to the edge of this piece, the piece I'm cutting. And then we're going to go this way and we'll just take two or three. Yeah. Cause I think I recently replaced this blade. So there we go. I feel it. All right. Yep. So now one more time, actually two more times. Do that. And I'm going to go ahead and draw my lines here so that we can move along a little bit quicker but i just wanted to show you guys what i'm doing i am i am thinking outside of the box in on steroids and hoping desperately that this is creative genius and not creative lunacy but you know i am a mad scrapper so I'm perfectly capable of either one of them it's like oh but I just, you know, and because Anna Griffin is about popping stuff up, she loves her layers. So I am creating a layer. She took them, she took these and flattened them down. And I'm popping them back up. I mean, I can see because she gave us a really cool piece of ephemera, but at a much discounted price because it doesn't have all these layers because were it done in normal Anna Griffin, I mean, it would be this back piece. So I'll be one, this two, three, and then this here four. And then this piece is five pieces all popped out. So if we got it, you know, significantly discounted, but I want to just pop out this center just because I can. All right. So we'll, we will come in. And I was perfectly okay with not doing the other one, but suddenly on this one, it just, no, let's try this. So I just, you know, want to get you guys to think and be creative. If you get these that, Hey, excuse me, I could do that. I'm, I'm, I'm sure if I went looking in, you know, the piles of stuff in there that I have squares with sentiments and, you know, just like these that would fit. But I think I want to try to make what I've got work. Okay. So there we go. Wait, let me put my craft knife back into it. Thingamajigger before I stab myself and then bleed like a stuck pig all over this beautiful paper. But see, there you go. Now I take handy dandy my eraser because this is really a soft pencil. So it erases up really, really nicely. You wouldn't even, you can't even tell what I did and there you go so we'll move this to the side I just want to bring best back for the sake of argument and now so we have a little strip a little piece of paper there but now I can place so now I have to recut because these, I had already applied my little foam strips that I had doubled up. That's what these are. And I undo, I undid them with my undo. 
So now what I'm going to come back is to now reapply my foam strips, which means I'm probably going to have to cut. Well, I'm definitely having to cut them down. That is a given. So we're just going to take it. We're going to use it. And remember, because this is really spectacularly expensive, foam strips from the 99 cent store. So I can now lay these back down. I'm going to put that there because that keeps me from picking it up either with my crazy, long, floppy, fuzzy sleeves. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll pop this back on. All right. And you guys get the drift. So let me go ahead. I'm going to take this off camera and apply all this and not tie up a bunch of time. And I'll be back in a minute, okay? Hello. Okay. I am back with all my foam all cut up and mounted. We are now going to semi start putting this together. So the first thing is that we have to get this panel, this panel down. So it's just going to be no small amount of tape and we're going to attempt to not trap all the cat air that okay I was failed there's a little one right there that is attempting to form and become assimilate itself into this project so I'll just go here and I literally can only do the corners right now because anything else and you can tell I have tape there and I don't care because nobody's going to know it's there so Needs to say, it's staying there. And we'll just get that in the middle there. I want this to be really secure because I'm only doing the middle and the corners. And this opening. Okay, it doesn't matter because there's no up and no down to this die cut. And actually, let me stand up a minute. Because one, I want you guys to be able to see it. And two, I want to be able to see what I'm doing from a good angle. So I can get this nice and centered. Because once I start gluing this down, I mean, this tape is not like, oh my gosh, it's never going to come up, but, okay. So now, we have this down, and my next piece will be, we're going to glue this down. So now it'll be, it's all involving removing the foamies, and we're going to come back to hopefully the not clogged um, glue, block, glue bottle. Can I enunciate? Well, we're just going to take these off. These tweezers seem, I really like them. These are my new tweezers. I just showed them off. And I, what I really love is they're like uber pointy, as you can tell. So I can pick up these, um, all of the, the release tape off of these, off the strips. Really, really easy. So look, it makes me look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, and now I'm just going to, because I really do want the schoolgirl time, just that little bit of time. So I am definitely squirting glue on all of these pieces. Just, I mean, and that, I mean, now that I'm doing this, trust me, when it's down, it's down. There is no more Myra changes. My, oh no, wait, I want to do this. Yeah, that ship will sail immediately when this glue dries. No, don't drop it. I don't know what to do with the no, where did the pin go? Seriously? Okay, the pin has decided to disappear. Well he's gonna put this one in, so it's not gonna do a lot of good, but and then I'll find the pin or I'll find another one. That one those I have a bazillion of them. Just for this occasion. Okay. So back up I go. So that I can center this. And I'm not doing a very good job on am I? And the glue is not helping me the way it's supposed to. Okay, I think. There we go. This is better. Oh, my goodness. And it is great. No, see, now I started to tear it. So now it's going to be a little off-center. And we're going to stay. We're going to keep it that way. Okay. So now that is on. I've already put some foamies on this, but I think I'm going to double it up. But first I have to decide 
And I think I can get away because we'll see. We'll see how, because these will also, because these I think is the evil plan. So I need to surround one over there as well. So let's pull. So I have, I know I have a lot of these, so let's grab. I don't want to use a different one, though. No. I mean, you can hardly see, so I could do that. And I'm doing that because then I can just set this on top, or I can do about three layers of foam, foamy, so that may ultimately be what I do. I don't know, because... I think that will work. I just want the two visible flowers that are original to this card to be visible. But because everything else, and I want some of the that gold right down there. And quite literally, what I could do is look, it'll the rest will be invisible, but it'll work as a base also for this to be on. So I make I make it work for me. But let me see. I want to find. I don't want one of the big ones. I want one of these small ones. And I know I have more. I didn't use them all up on this card. I don't want to use that one. Let's see. Let us continue to rifle through these. Okay, hang on a sec. I'm wasting too much time here rifling. Hold on. Okay, I think I have a working, more or less um, plausible here for this card. So. And you can tell what's going to end up happening. And I think I'm going to put some foam dots underneath it just to reinforce it, not to hold them down, but then it'll give this a little bit of support because I'm the crazy person who decided this was a great idea. Now, I forgot that these guys are stickers, which will help me because that will get them really adhered really well to the card. I have just got to get the sticker paper off the back of this. Here we go. I think I started it right there. So we use our little tweezers, which are thinner than my nails. There we go. There we go. I got the sticker. I got a little bit of the cardstock itself, but more importantly, I got the sticker backing off. So it's all about uh, this one here. These five, I probably have used up all of the flowers that look like this. This one is all right now about making these flowers right here visible because for crime any sakes, they're there. So it's like, really, I'm going to cover. And this is, like I said, this is the, in no lie, kind of the frustrating thing about working with Anna Griffin's pro this, because she wants you to cover. I mean, you put, you have this beautiful piece and then she wants you to cover it with other beautiful pieces. And it's almost seems like counterintuitive to me. So it, it's kind of like crazy making. So I don't make them one tenth as layered as any of your samples that you see. Let me see if I can just scrape it. There we go. Hello. Tweezers to the rescue. Yay. So now this one will go up this way, but kind of to the kind of sidled. So I have to move this one literally right now. It's all about because I'm trying to let the gold at least, you know, the bit I can. And I have to also make sure when he goes down that this will still fit. So it's a bit of skill work here. What was I thinking when I thought this was a great idea? You know, whose idea was this? <laughs> God. This is what happens when I'm like, ooh. Why don't we try this? I have to stop. I have to stop. I could have made this 10 times more, you know, simpler. And let us not forget that I still have to look at my sister's cards. My sister's card. And I'm planning the same devious plan for that one. Because I am nothing if not completely mad. So this goes here. So this one will hang out a little bit lower. It's going to be different. It's not going to, but I think I've got enough going on there that it will be supported sufficiently. So, ooh, there, see? Okay. It's all about placement and just taking a minute. And this started to stick down, so I'm just gonna let it stay there. I mean, it kinda, it saddens me that I'm covering so much of this flourish. 
because on pure principle it bothers me and then here that one will go right there but it's already on pretty solid ground here and when I think when I put tuck this one right here I may not we'll see I may still put down a couple of foamies because hello these were you know so such expensive you know dimensionals that I paid all the serious amounts of money at the 99 cent store <laughs> right just have to remind you guys periodically that where what what was the source okay so now that one will get tucked in there although I mean if I try to make it symmetrical this one really sticks out but you know what the heck with it the heck with it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be so that's what we are gonna do this is remember this is mad scrapper style so this will now kind of cross this way let me make sure this guy goes over here. I'll target it in there. And there it goes. We are committed. Now what I think I'll do, so these are nice and stuck in, is where are my these guys? These guys, this is an easy, I don't even have to, I just have to put it underneath. I may have to stack it. I may not. We'll see. I just want it to be there as a little layer of support. I may have to double them up, but we'll see. I may not. And here, let me use, let me let my, my tweezers do the work for me. There we go. See, that's all I needed was that little bit right there with a couple of those. My problem of supporting this one. Now, do I want to put it on top, or I wanted that little rose to be framing it a little bit? So see there. See? Now all I have to do is remove all the tapes off these. And mind you, I think part of the reason they come off so easy, on the side because these tweezers are really great, is that um, I did it off camera, but I burnish them down. You know, once I, I don't just press them down with my hands, but I go over them with my bone folder, I rub them to really adhere them down. Oh, wait a minute. And this time, look, the, the release paper split on me. How funny is that? But okay. Now the moment of truth. Because this has all kinds of stick. And I don't know if these were stickers too. I should check because all of these, it's like I, we're all used to release paper on stickers to be shiny. And these are not. This is just like her release paper is paper. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let me get this glued down over here. Right? I just want to make sure that you can't see that the hole is not readily visible and that for my mother is straight. And now we will fiddly fart. There we go. And there I'm oh wait, and wasn't I planning on putting I don't know, I was gonna probably I was gonna I was thinking of adding one of the cupids. What do you guys think? I actually think I could add the cupid right there, except that I'd be covering the bottom flourish. So, I mean, do I like it just showing the flourish or should I add the cupid? Because I could add that no matter what I put down here, it's going to cover that flourish. I could add the heart. No, I mean, it's either cupid or no cupid. It does have an awful lot of flowers. It, there's a part of me that's still feels that what the heck I mean it's partially covered no oh my gosh decisions 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 no but then I cover the flowers I think I'm going to leave it just like it is but now I also have the sentiment because I grabbed the sentiment from my stack here so I'm picking this one for her sending love on this special day I mean you know she's my mom I love her so of course I'm going to send her love on Valentine's Day so this one is going to be for mom so I will just take and we're now, now that we know that this tool is so versatile that my, this is a lifesaver. There it is. Look how quickly on the third try it was the charm. And it's coming here and I'm putting it, trying to center it. <sighs> I see cat hair everywhere. And sometimes it's not even there. I just see it. All right. I think that's good. 
Oops, it wants to stick to me. Rude. Okay. So there we have it. Here's mom's card. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to come back because now I'm going to do the same stunt to my sister's card. Except this card. We'll, you'll see what I have planned for this. So let me cut everything out and I'll be right back. All right, people. No, it's not done. But I sat there and fiddly farted with it to I know where how I want it to look like. So now I'm going to take all the pieces away and forget how it is that I wanted it. But I did ah, look. Oh, I did the same thing. I cut this piece out. I put some foam on the back of it. I may double it up. I haven't decided. I haven't gotten that far in my decision process yet. I do need to. I this piece will now be glued in, and then once I do. I'm going to grab more of my tape. Look at that. This is all I have left. I have to tomorrow make a 99 cent store run. I may have, I'll check. I may have one more roll in my stash, but there's a part of my brain that's telling me, no, Myra, this is the last of your 99 cent rolls. So I need to get more. I don't remember. So we're going to go dig in the, in the, in my bin thingy, <laughs> but this is, so I like, I really am happy with how this is turning out and how it's working. So anyway, I I went ahead and cut for my sister out, and then I you know I I undoed all of these that I had already put on, and I took them all off. You know, so practice makes perfect. I'm getting good at this. You know, and like there's things that I'm good at. You do not want to know why I'm good at them, but this is one. Okay, wait a minute. Where are the other ones that are much more sharpy sharp? Where is the other pointy one? I have now already. No, it's right here. Hello. These are really sharpie sharp and they make oh my they make it really easy to pull off these tapes. I'm like, ooh, so suddenly I look like a pro. Ah! A professional remover of tape backings. That's it. That is gonna be my claim to fame. <laughs> but hey, it, you know, whatever works. And this little piece I, I wasn't gonna use, I was actually gonna cut it in half just to cut on the edge, but it actually will work. So I am leaving ouch. The, the way it is, I just poke myself. I'm not kidding. These things are really, really sharp. I am, I can't be more pleased with these tweezers than I am. I'm just like, wow. And we'll see. Eventually, my black one's got to turn up somewhere. Shays. So we are now ready to glue these down. I'm going to attempt to do the same thing I did last time, which is lay down my glue and maybe spread it around a little bit better. So it, it actually does give me, I think I just didn't put, I was too rushed and I didn't put enough down so that it's a nice little film on top of this, guys. And that's what I need so that I can have that moment to center this, this piece. But this is not really, really difficult. It's a little tedious, you know, just because I have the, I had to cut all my foam pieces down and then I wanted to cut out that section out so that I could actually dimensionalize it. So there you go, and oh look, the bottle wants to clog. <sighs> really? Seriously? I don't know what is it. I'm going to have to soak this lid, this this nozzle, because there's something going on. There should not be, I mean, I've been keeping it, I've been really, you know, scrupulous this time around about keeping it, the pin in it, so that it, it doesn't, but see, either that or I've got a little bit, I've maybe, I don't know, there might be a little clog of glue right around so maybe I do just clean out the the whole lid wash out the lid because there's something that is getting in here and trying to get out by way of the nozzle and then clogging it because look at that I got a little square there we go oh whatever it is I think I just pushed it out because now it's back to running like crazy yep there you go it is out I'm not, it's somewhere there the offender is out and oh look I spotted a cat here Imagine that. Shocking. I know. Huh. I heard that. That's the peanut gallery. There we go. All right. So let's use this pretty card. I really, I really love this card back. It is so, it is just so delicate. I just love it for its, its being delicate. And no, this is, I'm going to make sure I turn this to my, ver I mean, I it could turn, no, this is the way it's supposed to be. But technically, once I took out the 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 sentiment I could be either way could be right side up so now all I have to do this one I do have to center it because of the nature of this 
this frame, this frame, the card frame. So now let me look to make sure I have it straight and it should go on the top and the bottom close to edge to edge. Let me make sure it's not crooked. And then down you go. La! So there we go now. I'm going to take my foam tape and I'm just gonna, just like how I did it with the branches of the flowers on the other, my mother's card, I'm gonna do more or less the same principle here. I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of tape so that that heart, ha that heart has a base. So this is as good a thing as any, you know, fun foam, you know, and there could be said about, you know, gluing up your fun foam. I could literally put, you know, two layers of fun foam here. And there's a thought. Now here, what I'm telling you when I'm burnishing, this is what helps make the paper come up mostly because you, you can see what I'm doing it actually is helping it lift up so it it both adheres the the this strip of the foam down but it also loosens up the paper so it's not this magical technique it's I'm sure it's like pure physics it whatever way don't ask me to explain use the science because no it just, it, but it works. It, you know, it just is. It, it works in that way. So now I'm going to put that layer on top of this. Come, come here. I'll have to run some undo over my scissors after I'm done with it. Although they're holding up really, really well. They are, they're not sticky. Not at all. I, I may, you know, I may be misspeaking, which is one of the good things because these are Teflon, but supposedly so are Tim's. But the Crafter's Companion, yeah, these are great little scissors. I'm not going to lie to you guys. They are awesome. Did they just have to be purple? <laughs> it's like, Sarah, you're killing me. I'm like, it's, it's her colors. Purple is her signature color. You know, like Mary Kay and pink. You know, Sarah Davies. The, 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 uh, Sarah, 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 Sarah Davies and purple. And no, wait, because I was almost going to put the sentiment down. But see this? I have to really take a moment because this heart has to cover this hole completely so it's not visible. So that really is the object on here. That is its purpose is to camouflage it because then all I have to do is center. It doesn't have to be centered or anything. This has to be centered to the heart, but the heart can go wherever it wants to. And then I will place all the other pieces around it. So I don't even have to put any glue at all. I'm not going to put anything on the heart. I'm going to let it stick, be stuck down by these P, the adhesive from the foam. So, you know what? Let's do this again. But now we have to, and see now I may have really actually pulled out, pushed out whatever was clogging this bottle because now it is just coming out like it's supposed to. Because I love this glue. And I tell you guys that I love this glue. Mm-hmm. I love this glue. Shh. No. I'm going to tell everybody. My poor little bottle is getting all dirty. And I missed. They had this special sale right at the end of the year. And I found out about it, like, you know, later that day. And the bottles were teal. I swear I'm going to go on a Barely Art Facebook group and see if anybody decides that they don't want theirs. I will buy it off of them. Because teal is my color. That is my color. Blue and teal just for the the mad scrappiness of it. And there, I want it to stick out. I could even go a little bit further off the edge. I mean, I could because that will show this rose here. But you see, now I, I can only go so far because then I uncover the hole. So there. So now I have that. And then I can now put my sentiment on, you know, for my sister. I think I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to over-dimensionalize. There, there are plenty of layers on this. So this is, for me, this is a lot of layers. This is a lot of layers for me. I don't normally, but you guys know. But this card allowed me to be able to put, and actually, no, it's the other way around. I'm putting this one, although I'm so not used to she when she does these. They're always in opposite directions. And on this one, she kind of failed me. She, I am used to it being, or, you know, like, you know, spoons, you know, and, and they just, you know, so you can, I could use another one, but all of them, because then I could have used, I mean, I could go, no, that's upside down. So, and I don't think this one works. I mean, I could 
conceivably make that work and just have it tied in with the heart, but I don't think I can. I, it's just, I think I had it done this way, right? Yep. And then this guy will go down here. So let me get the sentiment in, cent centered down first, and then I'll get the other pieces in this card. Ow. It poked me. It's me. <laughs> okay, get over it. It's funny, in my medieval group, and I, I, I have made clothes, I've made our costuming garb. We refer to it as garb. And the adage is, if you do not bleed making your, your costume, your clothing, it is not garb. It is not, you know, if you've just, no, you've failed. You have to bleed somewhere. You have to have poked yourself. And this stuck really fast because I didn't do the glue thing. And it is, I, I, it might be just infinitesimally off kilter and we don't care. So now we are ready to put the flower sticker on that we know is a sticker now. So now do we, now see, this is where it's kind of cool, but I really want it, I really wanted to tuck under here a little bit more. So we might've really wanted that glue down or I might now see it's not, I didn't press it down. So it might be up just enough that I am able to tuck it in as far as I want. Yep, there we go. That's That really is about as much. I think I can get it to come up a little bit more if I just play with it carefully. There we go. That's way more than enough, I think. Yep. Okay, so let's now play with the sticker. And I don't even have to play with the sticker. Look, it's peeling up right there for me already. <laughs> So we'll take this and now we're going to put it down. And it's kind of like tuck it. Tuck it in. There we go. And that looks good. I'm going to call it good. Actually, I forgot. I think I wanted it up here, didn't I? Well, I just changed it. <laughs> that wasn't my intent, but that's what ended up happening. So I could go up there and put another set of flowers, but we will see here. I have to decide now by the same token. And if I go right here, I think, and I think I was planning on putting this a little bit farther down. So now I may have to do the same on this side, which is pry it up a little bit. So... There we go. You know, that's kind of the upside of this not being like super. I mean, this stuff sticks really, really does. I'm just, I just didn't press it down a lot. So, and I'm being really careful so that it is letting me do that so that I can carefully pry it up. There we go. I think that, there we go. That's exactly how, what I want. So now let's peel off the adhesive backing on this. There we go. Oop. Come back here, beast. We will... There we go. That will be... Yep. Okay, so we can now just... Okay, and then these hearts. I was going to do, I had planned on using, I really was enamored of putting the Cupid right here, but it covers too much. So the Cupid will be left for another card. I didn't think it would look fabulous. But that would have worked if I used another card backing and I could have sidled it over. But I like this one. And there you go, and it's my card. <sighs> okay, now we just pull up the adhesive backing on this. Come on, my pretty. And no, I think I want to cover. I want it to sprout from the little heart right there. So 
I think there it will be. Is it straight? It's straight. And there you go, except where did my sentiment go? Where'd my sentiment card go? I have buried it here somewhere on my desk. Is it inside? No, it's not inside the card. Give me a second. Let me find the sentiment card. So, if the card looks just a little bit different, if you are eagle-eyed and really good at where is Waldo, you're going to notice the card is different. Or you're just going to rewind and figure out where the card is different. <laughs> <laughs> I did change it. I ended up remembering, no, wait a minute. I wanted these flower up heart farther. And this one, I moved it so you could actually see that it's a heart there. Hello. Because even though I am doing, you know, the Anna Griffin layering thing, I still wanted the heart, you know, to, I want you to see the layers. And then I went on a wild goose chase for the card I planned on putting on the inside, the in sentiment. Can't find it. It'll turn up. You know, but I just went, you know, I have the box with a million of these things. So, you know, I just go grab another one. So now all we have to do is open up the card on the inside. And again, you know, sit here and fiddly fart for a second because this paper comes up pretty quickly. This time I, oh, I got to be a little bit more careful because I, I almost poked a hole through that would have made me sad. And we are now, I'm going to stand up just so I can now... I apologize for, you know what, hang on a second. I mean, you guys are going to move. Don't be dizzy. I had to plug it in because the phone was almost dying. So I plugged it in just to give it a bit of juice so it doesn't die. And well, no, it just it did, and but it, it has enough, and now I'm almost done. So it's all good. It's all good. Okay. And there, I always put the sentiment a little higher so that it gives me room for my sloppy chicken scrawl, and it's crooked. So, and I haven't stuck it down, or you know, maybe I, oh, uh, you know what? It's going to stay crooked. There it is. It's the beauty of a handcrafted item. <laughs> All right, kids. So, there you go. Here is day two, which will show up, I think, on day three. But these are the two more cards, the additional cards I made with the stuff that I recently got from Anna Griffin. Um, This is a combo, is it not? I don't think there's anything here from HSN. The top, were the toppers HSN or is everything? No. I forget. Part of this may have been HSN and then part of it might have been from her, um, from the sale. But because, of course, these were from the Anna Griffin's website. This was from HSN. Let, let me take that. This was definitely HSN and I forget which one of these, but one of the two of these, either the toppers or the ephemera one. I think the ephemera was HSN and then the toppers were Anna Griffin. But I'm going to link you if you're still interested in anything. The sale is over for Anna Griffin, but the items that I believe none of the items that were on sale on the HSN website sold out. So they're still available. So keep an eye out, put it on your, on your favorite it and watch for an alert, you know, get the app or, you know, uh, just watch for alerts saying, hey, it's dropped in price or, you know, sign up for the newsletter because they will send coupons or you'll get an alert to, hey, it's free shipping. All of those things that sucker us into buying more stuff. Okay. <laughs> but there you go, guys. Thanks a lot for hanging in with me on these cards. I hope you enjoyed it and were able, I was able to show you how to think outside of the box when you have a set of ephemera and things to work on with the card. Um, so if you did, please give me a, you know, give me a like and, um, and write me a comment. Let me know that you thought this was great. Tell me this, Myra, really. Come on, step up. You know, we, we need to see better from you. <laughs> and, and if you want to see more of my madness, of course, please subscribe and ring the bell and you'll know when little old mad me is back here on YouTube. So, and meanwhile, I'm going to let you guys go. I have more cards to make. So, you know, there you go. That's what it is. So I will let you go and just remind you that we are all a little mad here. So come scrap the madness with me. I don't want to be alone. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.